This is Colin with Maker Farm. This is part two of the tarantula build. You're going to first want to get these two acrylic pieces, get bag B4, and our tool bag, which is B-6-4. The first thing we're going to do is peel the paper backing off of at least one side of both of these acrylic pieces. You can peel the paper backing off of both sides if you would like. Now we're going to start assembling the Y carriage. You'll notice on the two acrylic pieces there's large holes and small holes on both of those acrylic pieces. We're going to go ahead and align those holes up together. Then we're going to go ahead and open bag B-4. Some of this hardware we're not going to use in this video. We're going to use it later on. Um, in this part of the video we are going to use the Delron wheels. We're going to use the M5 hardware, so there's M5 bolts. M5 lock washers, M5 nuts. We're also going to use the eccentric spacers and the nylon spacers. The ones that we're not going to use is the M3 hardware, the springs, um, the thumb screws, and these little red washers. So all those you can put back in the bag and we'll use them later. All right, to start, we're going to grab an M5 bolt. We're going to put a wheel on it. And then we're going to get two of the M5 lock washers. Then last, you're going to get one of the nylon standoffs. And then go ahead and repeat this process. Now we're going to use an M5 volt to put a wheel on there. Sometimes you'll have to reposition the washer that's in between the bearings. Now we're going to get one M5 lock washer and then an eccentric spacer. And then we're going to go ahead and repeat that one more time. You are going to end up with some extra washers. You can go ahead and put those aside because we will use those on most likely later on in the build. Now we're going to install these into our acrylic pieces. Uh, we have the um, ones with the eccentric spacer. Those are going to go into the large hole. So you can go ahead and put that in there and then install a nut on the other side of the bolt. And do the same for the other large hole. These small holes are going to be the ones that have the nylon standoffs. And you can just go ahead and repeat the process. Now go ahead and grab the wrench that is in your tool bag. You'll also need to grab a screwdriver that is not included in the kit to tighten these up. We're just going to tighten them so that they can still turn freely, um, but that the lock washers are compressed.
Okay, and that is everything for the heat bed mount or the Y carriage. Um, when you're finished with that, you can go ahead and put that to the side, and we will use that later on in the build.